thank you for joining me. Here's Lady Vilma Collard. Today's word from the word, Mark 5.34. Your faith has restored you to health, the woman with the issue of blood. In Mark 5.27, it says that she had heard the reports concerning Jesus. And she came up behind him in a throng and touched his garment. For she kept saying, If only I touch his garment, I shall be restored to health. And immediately her flow of blood was dried up at the source and suddenly she felt in her body that she was healed of her distressing ailment. And then it carries on in verse 34, it says, And he says to her, this is Jesus, says to her daughter, Your faith, your trust and confidence in me, springing from faith in God, has restored your health. Go in peace and be continually healed and freed from your distressing bodily disease. Wow. Wow. Her faith in action was that she heard the report of what Jesus had done. And she didn't go up for prayer. She didn't go to him and say, Lord, this is my story. She just thought, you know, with all these people around him, who am I? So she just crawled up and touched the hem of his garment and was healed. Wow. Wow. To have such faith. In Hebrews 11 it says, Now faith is the assurance, the confirmation, the title deed of the things we hope for, being the proof of things we do not see and the conviction of their reality. Faith is perceiving as real fact what is not revealed to the senses. So we believe it without seeing a thing. And in verse 6 it says, But without faith it is impossible to please and be satisfactory to Him. For whoever would come near to God must necessarily believe that God exists and that He is the rewarder of those who earnestly and diligently seek Him out. This lady earnestly, diligently seeked Him out. She knew that if she touched his garment, she would be healed. There was no debate in her. There was no listening to this report and that report that is contrary to what it says. She just believed. She leaned on, in Proverbs 3, 5 to 6, it says, Lean on, trust in, and be confident in the Lord with all your heart and your mind. And do not rely on your own insights or understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge, recognize, and acknowledge Him. In all our ways. And He will direct and make straight and plan your path. If you lean on God with your, all your heart and all your mind, and your faith is in His word and what He says, we will be completely transformed. We will be complete, completely healed because of what He does in us and through us. With every fiber we lean on Him. If we lean our hearts and our minds completely on Him, in Philippians 4 verse 7 it says, And God's peace shall be yours, yours and mine. It is that tranquil state of a soul assured of its salvation through Christ. So our salvation is secure. We trust in Him. We believe in with every fiber in Him. And because of that, we are at peace. And we fear nothing from God. And being content with our earthly lot of whatever sort that is, that peace which transcends all understanding shall garrison, make a fortress, a place of stay to defend. And may God over our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. When we have resolved ourselves to the fact that God is sovereign and his word is the truth. And if he says in his word that healing is our portion and our faith leans on him, we are assured 
by the word of God, we can be confident in our heart and in our mind that that is our portion and that nothing will move us from that. So as this woman went and crawled up and touched his garment today, where is your faith? That is what God calls us to be, that our faith in him will heal our hearts and our minds. Heal our entire bodies of all sickness and disease. It is his will for us to receive that healing in Jesus' name. It is his will for us to live by this faith that what he says is truth and everything is ours. Amen. Father God, I thank you for your word. I thank you, Lord, that we can be a soul assured of our salvation through Christ Jesus. Father, I thank you that we can not fear anything from you. We can be content, Lord God, of our earthly lot, because, Lord, we know that you work all things for the good for those who love and obey you. Thank you, Father, that you grow our faith, Father, to that point, Lord, that we will ask, and because we ask, we will receive in Jesus' name. Hear our cry today, Lord. We come to you and we touch your garment for healing in our bodies, complete healing, healing in our spirit, Father, healing in our hearts and in our minds. Father, forgive us of all of our sins, Lord, that there be no unbelief in us as we lean in and trust in you wholeheartedly. It's not on our own work, Lord God. It is all your work. We just have faith in all that you say. We have confidence in you, in Christ Jesus. Father God, we thank you for our healing. In Jesus' name, amen.